My dear friends, today I would like to begin a little reflection by telling you a little story about two people who were living together. They both were beggars. One was a blind man. The other one was a lame person. They were both suffering and they were begging. One day, God decided to come and help them. The blind man was alone. God came and said, My dear friend, tell me, what do you want? The man thought for some time and then he said, Well, do like this. That blind man I am, but I want that lame man to also be a blind man. God was taken aback. Later on, he met the lame man separately and asked him, what do you want? He said the same thing. He said, I want the blind man also to be a lame man. Perhaps they both were fighting. They did not think about themselves. They did not think what is good for them. The first thought that came to their mind was that the other man should also suffer like themselves. This is a human reality. Human beings are by nature so selfish that they don't mind suffering as long as others also suffer. Sometimes when they are poor, they would like many others to be poor. Sometimes when they fail, they want many others to fail and then they feel happy. Our happiness often depends upon someone else's misery. This is a reality. Today we are discussing that beautiful parable which Jesus gave, namely the parable of the Good Samaritan. And you know the parable very well. A man was walking from Jerusalem to Jericho. On the way he was caught and beaten up by the robbers. Everything that he had was taken away and he was left dying. He was badly wounded. And what happens? Some Jewish people passed from there because that man was a Jew. But they did not care for him. One of them was a priest. The other one was a Levite. Both were people who should have looked after the people who were sick. But they didn't do it because they felt they had other things to do. Why should I care for a man lying on the road? Later on, a Samaritan person came there. Samaritans are often people who are not with league with the Jewish people. Rather, I would say they don't like the Jewish people. They hate them. Similarly, the Jewish people also hate the Samaritans. In spite of that, this particular person did not think of all that, their differences. Rather, he thought of this person as a human being and he wanted to be more and more humane. He was not very rich. Perhaps he knew the way. Then he took whatever he had and he tended to his wounds. Later on, he lifted him up and took him to an inn, that is a little hotel. There, he asked the man to look after him and even said, I will come back what is due to you later on, but please look after this man. When Jesus was asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus gave this example saying, a real neighbor is not one who lives next to you, but the one to whom you show your brotherly love. My dear brothers and sisters, it all looks very beautiful today, even for me to preach about this. And we may say, I also will try to do this. Do we do that? We often do not do that. We often leave people for themselves. There are numerous cases where people dying on the road just because no one cares to even get down and see what has happened. It is often said, if this person was lifted up and taken to the hospital, that person could have been saved. But we often feel, what will happen to me? 
the police will ask me hundreds of questions. I may have to go to the court, etc., etc. But when I am wounded, when I am in need, that I want my whole neighborhood to come and help me. This is how we think. But Jesus says, no. Real religion is to love others, even those who may not be our people, for they are the children of God. And we have one heavenly father who is our Abba. That is the reason, very specially when people are in need, we must go out of the way to be helpful. Very often it may not be giving money. Very often it may be just saying a good morning. It may be just a visit to the hospital. It's just being a little more helpful to people with a good word of just helping the people to overcome their burden. And sometimes maybe we are not in good terms with people. It happens when people live around us. We have some sort of differences. It is then that some tragedy befalls. And then we think very good. What happened to him is what he reserved. That should not be. If we are truly Christians, we got to be like Christ-like. That is the reason why Jesus gave us this beautiful parable. There is nothing more than that. We may be people like that priest and the Levite who like to go for a retreat, who like to go for a sermon, who like to listen to good talks, charismatic talks, etc. But are we ready to go and help somebody in need. Not just being sympathetic. Oh sorry I feel very bad for him. No. Can I go out of the way to do something. To give a little money. To help the person. To speak well about them. To go and do what we can. Not what we can't do. But we can do much. My dear friends. This is a beautiful parable. Let us think about it. Let us meditate upon it. And let us try to live accordingly. For this is the parable that is quoted by everybody. Even people who don't know the Bible, they say, who is the good Samaritan? If we people who are supposed to be the followers of Jesus Christ cannot do it, then all the sacraments that we receive, all the masses we have, and all the prayers are simply futile. They mean nothing at all. So you and I together can take the first step whenever we can, to do something we should do to help our neighbor and show them that truly we love them. Thank you and God bless you.